Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Liam here from the Teal Content team, and today I wanted to go over a few really cool ways that you can use various AI tools to aid in writing your resume. For this demonstration, we'll be using ChatGPT, and we're gonna go over writing resume bullet points or achievements, a professional summary, and a cover letter. All right, let's jump right into resume achievements. To make things easier for yourself, have ChatGPT pulled up, have your resume pulled up, and then have the job description of whatever job you're going for also pulled up. For the prompt, you want to tell ChatGPT to write five resume bullet points with metrics based on the following job description and use my resume for reference. Shift enter twice to go down a couple lines and then you can copy the job description and paste it in below the prompt. After the job description, go to your resume, copy the whole thing, paste that below your job description, then hit go, wait a bit for the results, and now let's take a look. The few things we're looking out for with these achievements are keywords and metrics. You can see here in this first achievement, we've developed and implemented a comprehensive social media strategy. That's a good keyword for a social media job. We've increased engagement and we also have a metric here to back it up and we've increased followers and we also have another metric here to back it up. Now the reason we copy our resume into ChatGPT is so it has our information to base these achievements around but just double check read through it carefully before you copy things to your resume make sure the information is actually accurate. In this case ours is so what we want to do here in the Teal Resume Builder we're in our career history we're going to add an achievement on this Role. We're going to highlight our achievements from ChatGPT. We're going to copy, we're going to paste, and we're going to save. Do that for all the achievements generated with ChatGPT, and there you go. Resume bullets check. Let's move on to professional summary. If you've never heard of a professional summary, it's a bit like a career intro, and it lives as this nice little paragraph at the top of your resume. Now to ChatGPT, our prompt here is going to be write a professional summary for a brackets job title based on my resume below and keep it shorter than 75 words. Then here, all you need is your resume, so go copy the whole thing, paste it below the ChatGPT prompt, hit go, and let's look at the results. Now, the few things we're looking for from our professional summary are years of experience, notable achievements, and of course, keywords. It looks like we have two out of the three. We have achievements here and we have keywords, but we are missing years of experience. Since that's easy to add, let's go ahead and copy our results here from ChatGPT. In the Teal Resume Builder, we're gonna go down to add a professional summary. We're going to paste in our results and just really quick manually add in our years of experience. Hit save and we are good to move on. Now we're going to write a cover letter with ChatGPT and this is probably my favorite one because cover letters are the worst. Our prompt here is write a cover letter for the following job description using my resume for reference and keep it less than 400 words. For our cover letter we do need the job description so we're going to copy that in below the prompt and we also need our resume so we're going to copy that below the job description. Now what we're looking for with our cover letter here is a general overview of our career experience and our skills. Some feedback for ChatGPT. Obviously, we don't want to dear hiring manager. We'd like to find a hiring manager or department lead to address this cover letter too. We certainly want to actually sign our name so we can do that when we actually copy it out. But otherwise, the results from ChatGPT on the cover letter are pretty darn good. A bit of a disclaimer here. We always recommend with any AI written material, use it as a starting point. Go through it proofread it, make sure it is accurate, and add in any personalized language that you would like so it does sound a little bit more like you. If you're not familiar with Teal, I encourage you to browse the channel, see what we're about, check the links below this video to get started on the platform, and until next time, thanks for watching.